Today we'll be looking at the uses of computational fluid dynamics, or CFD. But what are the uses of computational dynamics, and how can it be used for elucidating the behaviour of blood-borne species? Fluids are all around us, in things like air, and also in milk. Advancements in computational technology have allowed us to discover the secrets behind these fluids. But how does it work? First we have to make our geometry. Here's a simple bulb shape. The next step is to divide the geometry into much smaller sections known as finite elements or meshlings. Now we're ready to solve the physics equations in each of these meshlings. Equations like this, the Navier-Stokes equation. You might want to write that down. Now let's take a look at computational fluid dynamics in action in today's case study. Today we're going to be looking at tracking white blood cells in an abdominal aortic aneurysm or A A A. But what's the scientific basis behind this? Good question. Previous research has focused on platelets, red blood cells and LDL cholesterol. That's bad cholesterol. We'll be looking at monocytes. Monocytes are a type of white blood cell. These are the body's natural helper cells. They protect the body against infection, but can also use their powers for evil. When monocytes accumulate in the aortic wall, they cause a cascade of chemicals which can degrade the wall. This leads to it swelling up, a bit like a balloon. Like so. When the pressure inside the aneurysm is greater than the strength of the wall, this causes the aneurysm to rupture. Like so. There are a couple of ways in which we can track behaviour of particles in a fluid. Firstly, a discrete approach, which models individual particles of a given density and size. Secondly, a mixture model, in which the particles are treated as a bulk second phase to the other blood components and inputted as a given concentration. Here's an example of a group of particles with similar physical properties to monocytes injected into an aneurysm at each time step in a pulsatile flow. Here we see what happens when we model the cells as a single phase. The images show the cell concentration in a healthy aorta and in an aneurysm. So far we've seen that CFD can provide us with some nice pictures, but do these have a rigorous scientific basis? Yes. These simple models can be added to patient specific geometries like this one from the Raghavan group. They can be used to observe hot spots of inflammation. These models can then be validated either through using MRI with monocytes tagged with SPIOs or through histology. Well, that's all from me this week. 
But join me next week when I'll be seeing whether eating cake really does affect scientific research. Goodbye.